Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the pandas read JSON method, which is a great and convenient technique for reading this JavaScript object notation. If you're familiar with it, this is what that structure looks like. It is essentially a, a nested list of key value pairs. It looks like what would ordinarily be a Python dictionary where we have this, in this case, we have a key of glossary, and then the value is another nested dictionary. And so these JSON files can hold all sorts of information such as lists and strings, numbers, and many other types, and is a very convenient way for transferring data from one location to another. To demonstrate this, we're going to use the read JSON method here. You can see the documentation. It's fairly straightforward, and as usual, I'd rather just demonstrate a simple use case. And so for this, we're going to go into the Los Angeles open data, and I have a tab open, and what we're gonna look at is the emissions from port operations, in which we are going to be looking at data for nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide, and diesel particulate matter, or DPM, over the past few years. And so this data can be exported as a CSV file, or we can use this API and take advantage of the programmatic approach for accessing data. Before I do that, here is what that data looks like. If we were to just access that API and then copy the URL there, you can see that the data is a list of what looks like small dictionaries. And so we can take advantage of this pretty easily using Python pandas. So in this, let's import pandas as PD, read JSON, let's just copy in that endpoint. And so just like that, this is a URL, but it points to this JSON data structure. And let's save this as DF and preview the data frame. With that, you can see how easily we can access this data that was on the internet. And we can do this for many other data tables. There are these open data for many cities, uh, many states, and even at the federal level. And so we have this data here. We might as well clean this up a little bit. So let's drop columns and let's drop date value. And I want to also set index to date name. By doing that, we can very easily now just plot this data. So let's just plot that bar just to sort of close this out. And as you can see, we can now track this data, NOx, SOX, and DPM over the past few years using this read JSON method, which is pointing at this URL. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.